For this problem, we're asked to assess the difference in quantum efficiency for phenolphthalein and fluorescein given the structures below. We see that fluorescein is able to fluoresce given the fluorescence versus wavelength spectrum here. And we're asked to explain the difference in quantum yield for the two compounds. Quantum yield is defined. So then go with that thought. Okay. <laughs> in the fluorescent spectrum given, we see that fluorescein is able to fluoresce while phenolphthalein doesn't, and that's because of the difference in quantum efficiency. Quantum efficiency is defined as the rate of fluorescence. Over the rate. Of all we couldn't, we couldn't get it ways to, the, to ground. Uh, the whole, like, yeah, okay. the whole thing. There, there's no way to Looking at the two structures, yeah. Damn it. Looking at the two structures, we see that phenolphthalein has a lot of single bonds, and that allows for a lot of rotation and vibration, vibrational energy loss. Where fluorescein is a much more rigid molecule and locked into a planar configuration. Because of this rigidity, there are less ways for the energy to fall to ground, increasing the quantum efficiency. Okay, so we're told that the structure of fluorescent is pH dependent, according to the equilibrium uh, shown on your screen. Uh, you can see that at low pH, the uh, system uh, is a highly conjugated um, and has a single bond that allows for rotation between the three fused uh, rings and the other ring. Whereas at high pH, the structure changes um, into a more rigid form uh, with the carboxylic acid forming an ester binded to the ring. Um, so, the, so the increased rigid, rigidity in the form at high pH um, is associated with an increase in fluorescence um, because there are fewer non-radiative energy uh, de-excitation mechanisms, um, which we can see in the figures below. Okay, in the two spectra we have below, we can see pretty uh, succinctly the effect of pH on the absorbance and on the emission of this species. And the most telling is this emission spectrum. Hold on. This emission spectrum here. And so we can see the highest peak is at a high pH, and that means that there's a large concentration of this species in solution. And as we said a moment ago, the higher uh, pH leads to a higher rigidity in this uh, compound, and therefore we have a higher fluorescence emission. And as the pH decreases to around 5.0, we have mostly this species in solution, and thus a lower fluorescence emission.